Greetings and welcome to the third episode of this doom documentary series, an attempt to chronicle the ups and downs and in-betweens of the world's greatest comic villain. The last episode, episode two, I established some fun lore about Doom's technology and powers from his ability to spontaneously teleport to the invention of the reducing ray. The episode covered in this video is going to be for issue 16 of the Fantastic Four. Thus, it's about six issues removed from where we last saw Doctor Doom. Hence, it's not going to be a true continuation of any single Doom story. The cover of issue 16 does a great job of previewing the peril the Fantastic Four are in with this huge colossal doom about to crush them in his grip. We also see that the character of Ant-Man is going to appear, making him the first non-Fantastic Four hero to engage with Doom in some way. So as far as publication, you just need to note that this issue was published on July 10th, 1963. This issue can be found in a text called uh, The Epic Collection, Volume 1, Fantastic Four, The World's Greatest Comic Magazine, an omnibus that was released digitally in September of 2021. It is a 456-page document that collects Fantastic Four issues number 1 to 18. There won't be any major lore uh, in this video. This is a firsts video. This is just some interesting things that are the first time these interesting things kind of happen. Issue 16 opens with a particular problem besetting the Fantastic Four. They're spontaneously shrinking seemingly at random. So what's going to go on here is Johnny Blaze is going to arrive and it, oh, when he's going to the Baxter building and he's going to be just in time to save Reed and Sue and Ben from a kind of shrunken mishap, after which it is revealed they have all had their own individual shrink fits at different moments. Sue shrunk down uh, after being on TV, Johnny while he was working on a car engine, Ben while he was working out. As a small note, there is a scene of Ben Grimm being the size of a guinea pig, which is wholesome. So the Fantastic Four, knowing that shrinking is not in their wheelhouse, call on Ant-Man for help. While at first his role is sort of just kind of a little bit of a cameo, Pym gives the four what's going to be this kind of plot MacGuffin that helps the story kind of go on. He's going to give them this mixture that's going to help them both shrink if needed, and another mixture that's going to help them return to normal size. Now, speaking of mixtures, Reed tests a serum on Ben Grimm that can allow him to return to his human form, something that he says he's been working on for a while. This would kind of make sense because they haven't been the Fantastic Four that long at this point. This is going to come into play later. Almost out of nowhere, the Fantastic Four are literally warned by this voice, beware of Doctor Doom. So deciding to face the issue rather than run from it, which has actually been a theme with the Fantastic Four when it comes to Doom. They're fairly proactive uh, about usually... He, they don't really let him kind of mess with them for too long. The four perform a little bit of mixology with Pym's serums. So what they're going to do is they're going to drink the potion that makes them shrink down to nothingness, but they're going to drink the potion that makes them grow really quickly to kind of counteract it. So they're going to kind of do this mix and match of the drinks so here's what this is going to lead to <laughs> this allows them to land at the right size to discover uh, this place called subatomica a bizarre kind of like medieval little atomic kingdom which of course has been seized by dr doom because of course it has remember that we covered exactly how doom was shrunk down to nothingness in the previous video the one right before this one so if you want to see how yet again something blew up in his face check that video out. Having been reduced to atomic size, Doom landed in this micro kingdom, this place called Subatomica, and just took it over after having deceived the king, having access to the technology of this bizarre land, which is, of course, super advanced despite looking like a feudal kingdom. Doom then builds two devices, one that's going to allow him to observe the Fantastic Four, Another that's going to allow him to harass the Fantastic Four by disrupting their size. After a bit of a scuffle, Doom's guards seize the Fantastic Four and they are then locked up. Amusingly, in my opinion, Doom stows them in one of the coolest underground prisons. It is beneath a body of water that is also acid. It is also observed by mechanical fish. It is all very, very overcomplicated true doom true doom all the way doom intends to wed the king's daughter princess perla 
And then he's going to sell the Fantastic Four off as slaves to a horrific race of lizard men called the Talk. We get this really weird sequence where it is revealed what fate awaits each of the Fantastic Four. And I just want to say, I particularly like how Reed is going to have to be a living bridge for the Talk soldiers. It's just, uh, it just kind of, it just, it's just very amusing. It's not wholesome like Ben being the size of a guinea pig, but it's very amusing. Meanwhile, Ant-Man investigates how the Fantastic Four are doing, only to find evidence that they shrunk down to nothing, uh, that being the smashed serum vials that he gave them. So he's going to shrink down, go investigate. He, too, is then quickly seized by Dr. Doom's guards, exactly like the Fantastic Four were. Amusingly, the exchange here between Pym and Doom is the first exchange between Doom and a non-Fantastic Four character, which I find to be a very fun first. So this issue is going to end in a rather unceremonious escape for Doom as the Fantastic Four break out of their prison. Sue disarms Doom of his weaponry. That's really kind of it. Um, there's not a lot here. This wraps up uh, this episode. The next episode is going to cover the actual kind of follow-up to the events of this issue. So the next issue that we're going to tackle, issue 17, it's going to mark what actually is the first part of a genuine multi-part Doctor Doom story. So, to recap, in this issue we have seen the first appearance of Doom as King of Subatomica and the first interaction between Doom and a non-Fantastic Four character. All right, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.